Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about how pancreatic beta cell secretes insulin. We will understand the physiological context and the molecular mechanism by which insulin secretion takes place. So let's start. Here is our pancreas. Now if you zoom into our pancreas and try to take a cross section, the pancreas would somewhat look like this. And if we look at these green cells, which are the depiction of beta cells. Now these beta cells secrete insulin. There are other cell types also present in the pancreas, which we are not focusing right now. But let's just focus on the pancreatic beta cells and try to understand that how pancreatic beta cells secrete insulin. Note that pancreatic beta cells are very few in number compared to the other cell types present here. Now the pancreatic beta cell has specific gene expression pattern. It expresses the INS1 gene which is located at the chromosome 11 P15.5 locus. Now this particular gene encodes for insulin. Insulin is a proteinaceous hormone. So insulin has to be or the precursor form of the insulin has to be encoded by the gene and it is INS gene which encodes the insulin. Now let's look at this process in a bit more details that how insulin synthesis or insulin biogenesis takes place. So from the insulin gene located in the 11th chromosome, the mRNA would be produced. Now this mRNA once transcribed from the insulin gene, it would be moving out through the nuclear pore and on the top of the rough endoplasmic reticulum, the ribosomes which are sitting there, they would convert the mRNA, I mean they would translate the mRNA into peptide. Now these peptides are the precursor form of the insulin. Now these peptides are going to be packaged inside the endoplasmic reticulum, then it would move to Golgi, from there it would be mobilized as a secretory vesicle. So first it is packaged in the endoplasmic reticulum, then further it would be, uh, uh, it would be moved through the cell secretory pathway via the Golgi apparatus and it would be almost ready to secrete. Now inside the secretory vesicle there are specific enzymes such as um, prohormone convertase and carboxypeptidase which would cleave the C-peptide of the insulin. In this case the C-peptide is depicted as an orange bead on string. Now the insulin hormone would be now packaged inside these vesicles, secretory vesicles and ready to be secreted. Now since this INS gene is expressing most of the time, insulin is always ready. Insulin is ready and it is cleaved, packaged inside the vesicle, ready to be secreted. But without a particular context, insulin is not secreted by the pancreatic beta cell. So what is the context here? So insulin would be only secreted when the glucose level is high and it would try to divert the glucose inside the cells such that the cells can utilize the glucose that's the function of the insulin now how does at the first place the beta cell knows that there is ample amount of glucose present in the bloodstream the answer is simple right insulin is packaged in the vesicle but waiting for a signal to be discharged and the signal is basically the blood glucose level. So let's say you have eaten a donut, tasty donut, and the donut would be broken down and it's monosaccharides, a lot of glucose would be actually absorbed in the intestine. And from the intestine, the glucose would be elevated in your bloodstream. But still it doesn't answer that how pancreatic cell would understand that glucose elevation took place in the bloodstream. So pancreatic beta cells has specific channels or transporters I would say. These are called GLUT2, glucose transporter 2, here depicted as these blue ion channels. This GLUT2 would allow glucose to enter from the blood vessel. Now the pancreas has many blood vessels supplying blood flow in the pancreas. So these glucose which is carried in the blood flow would also get inside the pancreatic beta cell. 
and thereby it would trigger the secretion of insulin which are already packaged and ready inside the vesicle. But let's just delve into the details of the molecular mechanism. So let's see the process again. What happens when glucose is absent? What happens when glucose is present? When glucose is absent, in the absence of glucose, the pancreatic beta cell is in a hyperpolarized state. In that situation, one particular potassium channel, which is ATP dependent, is on. As a result, potassium leaks out and the cell is hyperpolarized. But when glucose comes in, glucose gets converted to glucose 6-phosphate, enter glycolysis pathway, and from glycolysis pathway, we know there would be ATP production. And eventually, the glucose would be also used to produce ATP. But when there is glucose, there would be ATP. And this ATP would eventually inhibit this potassium channel or the leaky potassium channel. So once potassium is not moving out, the cells would be rather going to a depolarized state. In this situation, several calcium channels also open in the pancreatic beta cell, which allows calcium influx inside the cell. Now, calcium helps in vesicle docking events. These vesicles, which are filled with insulin, are ready. They are packaged with insulin. They are waiting for a trigger to be released. And that trigger for release is the elevation of the cal calcium, which is due to elevation of glucose level in the pancreatic beta cell. Now, the calcium would help to modulate the snare complexes and allow the fusion of this vesicle with the membrane, which would allow the insulin to be secreted and once the insulin is secreted it is ready to perform its job but how does insulin perform its job do you want to know in details in order to know that you have to watch my second video about how insulin works or what is the mechanism of insulin action so i hope this video was informative this video was helpful if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up and don't forget to like share and subscribe and do let me know in the comment how do you like my videos. Your comment gives me so much positive motivation to make more videos. Thank you.